Okay guys, so here's three of the hutches that we've done. These two we made by hand. We're still working on a third one that we did that's gonna be a little bit different, and we'll leave a picture with that below. This is the one that we had originally um, had gotten the idea from that was given to us. However, we refinished the entire thing with some antiquing paint, and there's a tutorial for that as well. We added the screen in the middle, which we spray painted gold to give it a look. And then here we did, the doors aren't on here yet, but here we did one with um, the white, and then the screen is um, spray painted white, and then we added a frame around here different kinds of legs which these are actually just um, wood fillers for like when you screw a hole and then you want to hide the screw these are push pens only they are like a synthetic wood and then we did the Wayne's board on the bottom I do still have to put the glass in here yet but the tutorial for all of these, and since these aren't on here, I'll show you this up close. I um, hot glued them there, but the tutorial for these are actually going to be on my YouTube channel and on my website. The template I will put on my website as well. Um, however, right now I'm switching over to a different server so I can have a little bit faster speed there. So that'll come, and again, these doors aren't on yet. but. There's several ways that you can do it. You can have the plain doors. You can frame them. You can do some Wayne's boards. And in the tutorial, I show you how we do that. However, I will tell you real quick, these are very, very thin coffee stirrers. And they are like super, super thin. So, I mean, there's like nothing to them. Like this is, in comparison, I will show you. This is another kind of coffee stirrer you can get. So you really would need almost two of these to make one of those. So that's that kind. And then, like I'm sure you've all seen these little craft sticks. You can kind of compare it to that. So you would need quite a few to make one of those with that. All right. So. It just gives you another option, and I really like it because it does have like a miniature look to it. It's very, very thin, and you can stain them, and you can paint them. This is just a watered down base of a um, brown paint, and I'll show you that. And um, we just watered it down, and then I added a little bit of this with a little bit of black to get this darker wood. And then I took some of that antiquing glaze from um, when we made this, and I went in between the lines here, and then I painted a little bit here and there all over it just to give it a little bit darker of a contrast in some areas. Not sure if you can really see it to kind of give it more of a wood grain look, but that's what I did with that. And then... Um, this I just left it natural, sanded it really well, and then just put a clear gloss on it. You can use polyacrylic, not polyurethane. Polyurethane will yellow over time, so you want polyacrylic or you want Glidden's clear gloss. And it comes into a quart. You can get it that way and you can paint it. This I actually did three coats with the Glidden. The polyacrylic is great. It does, you know, a wonderful shine and everything, but it stinks really bad. So that's why I'm using the Glidden brand for this. So again, you can just kind of do that. And then if I didn't put the doors on this purposely for you so you can see it. So you can do it like this to where you don't have any doors at all. Or you can take these doors off and have it completely like that. Or you could put them on there like that and then have doors just like that. And, you know, these are not the proper size for here, but you could make them a little bit taller, and then you could do something like this on the bottom. And you can reverse it by making these a little bit shorter and putting it on top. So it's a lot of different ways that you can use this one template to create several different looks. If you decide that you want to make this off of the template, please share it with us on my Facebook page because we would love to see that you're actually 
making something from you know mine and my dad's idea so just go ahead and put it on there and again the template will be on my website as well for this so just check that out and there's lots of other free templates and free furniture tutorials on there and we do videos all the time with tutorials and templates and stuff and we're not done making anything yet I mean we're like so starting in the beginning of this we're only like I don't know a year and a half into the dollhouse stuff and we both love it and it gives my dad and I some time to spend together and this is what we do when we're together and we also build dollhouses and do kits and stuff and one of the things you have to look forward to would be the farmhouse rebuild that we're doing we have the 50s diner we're kind of bouncing back and forth between those two and we will actually be starting the Vermont farmhouse kit junior from scratch in 112 scale as well just because when someone give, gave me the other one that we're redoing I fell in love with it and how it was made so I wanted to do one from scratch so that's coming up as well all right and we'll be doing some room boxes too some different furniture we're going to be doing um, another bed you know that's going to be a canopy bed and some bunk beds and all and that's all in the future so definitely check back along with the dining room table and if you want to be notified when we do post those hit the bell below and subscribe all right and thanks a lot and have a great day